Now, Sumi Abdallah, 1918 through 2013, was a South African political activist who spent over 20 years in prison for his opposition to the apartheid regime. He was released in 1990, and in 1994 was later elected the first leader of a democratic South Africa. He was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize jointly with F.W. de Klerk in 1993 for his work in helping to end racial segregation in South Africa. He is considered the father of a democratic South Africa and is widely admired for his ability to put together a nation previously divided by apartheid. Nelson Mandela is one of the most admired political leaders of the 20th and 21st century for his vision to forgive and forge a new rainbow nation. I have learned that courage is not the absence of fear, but the triumph over it. The brave man is not he who does not feel upset, but it is he who conquers that fear. Nelson Mandela was born in Transkei, South Africa on July 18, 1980. He was born to the son of a local tribal leader of the Tembu tribe. As a youngster, Nelson took part in the activities and initiatives, cer ceremonies of the local tribe. However, Unlike his father, Nelson Mandela gained a full education studying at the University College of Fort Hare and also the University of Witwatersrand. Nelson was a good student and qualified with a law degree in 1942. During his time at university, Nelson Mandela became increasingly aware of the racial inequalities and injustice faced by non-white people. In 1943, he decided to join the African National Congress actively took part in the struggle against the oppressed. As one of as one of the very few qualified lawyers, Nelson Mandela was in a great demand. His commitment to the cause saw him promoted through saw him promoted through the ranks of the ANC. In 1956, Nelson Mandela, along with several other members of the ANC, was arrested and charged with treason, but he was acquitted in 1961. However, with the ANC now banned, Nelson Mandela suggested an activity armed resistance to the to apprehend the, 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 the rain, excuse me. This led to the to the formation of the Unku Noto in the C Sui Onku Towa Z way, which was which would act as a guerrilla a guerrilla resistant movement and engaged in sabotage. In 1963, Mandela was again arrested and put on trial for treason. This time, the state succeeded in convicting Mandela of plotting to overthrow the government. However, the case received considerable international attention and the, the, the apprehended regime of South Africa came under the glare of the international community. At the end of his trial, Nelson Mandela made a long speech in which he was able to affirm his commitment to the ideas, to ideas of democracy. We believe that South Africa. <coughs> we believe that South Africa belongs to all of the people who live in it, be it black or white. We did not want an, inter an interracial war and try for our best ability to avoid it. To the last minute. Mandela's uh, time in prison. Mandela's death sentence was commuted to life imprisonment, and from 1964 to 1981, he was incarcerated at Robben Island Prison off Cape Town. In prison, Nelson Mandela was highly disciplined. He would try and study and take part in exercise every day. He later said that his years in prison were a period of great learning, even if painful. Mandela also created friendships with some of the guards. Mandela would later say that he felt he was fighting the apartheid system and not individual white people. It was in prison that Mandela became aware of the passion that Afrikaners had for rugby, and he developed an interest himself. During his time in prison, Mandela became increasingly well known throughout the world. Mandela became the best known black leader and opposition to the apartheid regime. 
Largely unbeknown to Mandela, his continued imprisonment led to worldwide pressure for his release. Many countries implemented sanctions on apartheid South Africa. Due to international pressure, beginning in the mid-1980s, the apartheid regime increasingly began to negotiate with the African National Congress and Nelson Mandela in particular. On many occasions, Mandela was offered conditional freedom. However, he always put the political ideas of the ANC above his own freedom. During my lifetime, I dedicated myself to the struggle of the African I fought against white domination, and I fought against black domination. I cherished the idea of a democratic and free society in which everybody participated in this economy and had equal <coughs> opportunities. It was this idea in which I hoped to live for and to see realized. But my God, it is big. It is this very idea in which I am prepared to die. Freedom and a new reclamation. Eventually, Nelson Mandela was released on February 11, 1990. The day was a huge event for South Africa and the world. His release was symbolic of the impending end of apartheid. Following his release, there were negotiations, often interspersed with tribal violence. However, in April 1994, South Africa had its first full and fair elections. Members of the ANC, with 65% of the vote, were elected, and Nelson Mandela became the first president of the new South Africa. As president, he sought to heal the rifts of the past. Despite being mistreated, he was magnanimous in his dealing with his former oppressors. His forgiving and tolerant attitude gained the respect of the whole South African nation and considerably eased the transition to a full democracy. If there are dreams of a beautiful South Africa, then there are roads to achieve these goals. <coughs> the names of two of these goals are rudeness and forgiveness. In 1995, the Rugby World Cup was held in South Africa. Nelson Mandela was instrumental in encouraging black South Africans to support the South African Springboks rugby team. The Springboks were previously reviled for being a symbol of black supremacy. Nelson Mandela also oversaw the formation of the Truth and Reconciliation Committee, in which former crimes of apartheid were investigated. By stressing individual forgiveness, he helped the nation to look forward. Nelson Mandela retired from the presidency in 1999. In his later years, ill health curtailed his public life. However, he did speak out on certain issues. He was very critical of the Bush-led invasion of Iraq during 2003. He has also campaigned to highlight the issue of HIV AIDS in South Africa. The time for the healing of the wounds has come. The moment to bridge the chasms that divide us has come. The time to build is now upon us. Nelson Mandela died on December 5, 2013, after a long illness. His family was at his side and he was 19. He was 95 years old. We now present to you the spirit of Mandela in his own words. Resentment is like drinking poison and then hoping it will kill your enemies. I like friends who have independent minds because they tend to make you see problems from all angles.